As long as I'm president, no one will lay a hand on your Medicare benefits. It's the most personal of political issues, not just in the US, but globally. We've had the so-called Modi care reforms in India or the Healthy China 2020 initiative all wanting the same thing – available, affordable and accurate healthcare for their citizens. And at the heart of the healthcare transformation is technology. There have been 20 years of changes in biotech ranging from gene therapy to genomic sequencing to CAR-T discoveries, all of which are coming in a moment that I think are going to shape healthcare for decades to come. Health tech is changing not only the way we treat the sick with innovative surgeries and new recuperation techniques, but also the way we prevent sickness with early intervention, detection and care. Ironically, collected mass data is now helping caregivers give more personalised, customised and accessible service. That all plays into business. We look at help a patient even before they get sick. We help Sunjun and Chongqing government to predict for chronic disease and flu. And we help the doctor, instead of spending 30 minutes to scan for all the images, we can pre-screen it. So we take it down to like five minutes. So it's a lot more efficient, a lot more accurate also. So afterwards, we can even have AI technologies do follow up with the patient. And more money is being spent on those patients than ever before. Average growth rates for healthcare spending globally increased 2.9% from 2013 to 2017. And until 2022, estimates see an annual average growth rate of 5.4%, taking the value of the health industry over the $10 trillion mark. And that's just directly. Indirectly, we're looking at trillions more in housing, education, insurance and even transport as public and private entities begin to put health into their business planning. But for patients, it does depend where you live. By 2022, the US will spend on average $11,674 per patient per year. In Pakistan, that figure is just 54. So can technology promise more than just helping us live longer, healthier lives? Can it also help level the health playing field?